problem number six number six two hundred number to be prime factorized prime factors two one hundred two fifty two twenty five two cannot divide evenly twenty five Lel go on the list of prime numbers three cannot divide twenty five evenly but five can now I put five 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 is a prime number now put five eight one 200 can be written like 2 times 2 2 2 2 3 2 5 5 you take this prime factors Problem seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve are left to you as exercises to check if you have grasped this topic. Now, prime factorize the following numbers. Prime factorize this number. All right. Prime factors number. Put two, get two, eighty two, forty two, twenty two, ten two, five, five is the prime numbers, five. One. You see, we continue to use two as long as it divides numbers. If two fails to divide, we jump on the second prime number. If the second prime numbers fails, go to the third the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and so forth, until we get the best prime number which divides the number given in this column. Now, 320 and be written as 2 and 6 times 5 now done here prime photo lies 540 540 Number. Time. Factors. 
500 divided by 40 540 divided by 2 you get 270 270 divided by 2 you get 135 this number cannot be divided by 2. Now let's try the second prime number. Put 3. 3 equal 4, 5. 45 is divided by 3. Put 3 again. Get 15. Put 3 again. Get 5. 5 is a prime number. Get 1. Now. Nah. 540 equal 1, 2, 2, 2, times 1, 2, 3. 3, 3, 3. times 5 here we have 2 2 3 to the power 3 and 5 15 670 Good. Two, three, three, five, three, three hundred thirty five cannot be divided by two, neither by by three, but five can. Let's can put five get sixty seven. Sixty seven is a prime number. Good. Sixty seven. If you get a prime number directly, you put the prime number because it cannot be divided by any other number but itself. One. Now, six, seven equal two times five times sixty-seven. Now, Problem Good.
now try this try this try this and try this let me solve this number 20 170 number prime factors put two to divide this you get 200 set five now two cannot divide you put three three cannot divide five can divide you get 47 47 is a prime number automatically you put 47 you get one now 470 equal five equal Two, two times five times forty seven. Thank you for watching. You go on this channel. You will find the application of primal factorization to simplification of radicals. Remember that prime factorization can be also be applied to the LCM GCF and you will be needed also to add or to subtract a fraction with different denominators to put fraction on the same denominators we will use prime factorization to find the other CN all of these on this channel thank you for watching